Hello there, everyone. Right now in Cobalt, it's 4.49 p.m. on Thursday, December 31st, 2020. Can you believe it? Today is the last day of 2020. This year's meant so much to me. Oh my. I better change the subject before this microphone gets all soggy. In celebration of New Year's Eve, we're holding a grand countdown event in the plaza. We'll be selling and giving away items all day long, so please stop by to participate in the festivities. I can't wait to ring in the new year with everyone on this island. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and, our, and your enjoyment of our island. And welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Horizons. So last time we took care of a few things post Toy Day, and this time, it's the final day of the year. And what a year it's been! So let's make our way over to the plaza to see what's up. Looks like there's quite the party happening over here. Oh, Jonathan, it's good to see you. You may have noticed, but resident services is closed today. Mr. Nook and I will be camped out here in the plaza all day to prepare for tonight's countdown event. I do hope you're planning to take part in the festivities as well. It just wouldn't be the same without you, so be sure to come back later tonight. In the meantime, have a look around. We've really pulled out all the stops, if I do say so myself. Oh, that's right. One more thing. I got you a present to help celebrate. It's a light stick. We're all going to wave them together once the countdown begins. Everybody is starting to get fired up for the main event, especially me! Ah, Jonathan, hello, hello. I'm helping everyone gear up for the countdown event today. I've got some nifty party goods for ringing in the new year, so take a look, hmm? Oh, that reminds me. I also have some countdown-related gifts. Those are party poppers. I have no doubt they'll bring some fun and excitement to the countdown. This event only happens once a year, so make the best of it. So, let's see what he has for sale. Welcome, welcome! Need any party goods to spice up your countdown? It's 500 bells for a New Year's hat, and today only it's 300 bells for a 5-pack of party poppers. One New Year's hat. What color of New Year's hat would you like? Uh, obviously because this event only happens uh, once a year, we will be buying all four of them. Um, to show them off. Uh, we don't really need the party poppers because he gave us a bunch. Um, so we're good in that regard. But if you want even more, there is still the option to buy more. These colors are kind of limited. Um, yellow, orange, aqua, and blue. I was hoping... Uh, for more variety? Um, but oh well. Uh, they're actually on display over there, so we already kind of know what they look like. Um, I'll probably go with the blue one. Um, but yeah, I would have expected more, uh, variety. Um, like, no red one is a little bit surprising. Uh, pink is also surprisingly not there. Also, Isabel's wearing a red hat, which is not for sale, so that's kind of weird. Um, either way, we have bought all four types of hats. I wonder if it's a thing where, where like, different years have different hats. Um, so, like, maybe different colors are available uh, later on, or maybe... Yeah, that's definitely red. That's definitely not orange, so that's, that's kind of odd. Um... But that is all four of the New Year's hats. Um, let's stick with uh, that one for now. And we also have this little light stick. If you hold it, you can wave it, apparently. Uh, like so. Um, if you tap it, it looks like the villager just kind of, uh, kind of gestures with it, like so. Um, but according to the countdown, we still have, uh, a ways to go until the actual main event. So, um... Not a whole lot else seems to be happening, but let's talk to some people. Meowdy. 
Ah, just look at that sky. Mother Nature always picks such on-trend colors for the season. So yeah, it doesn't look like anyone has anything special to say outside of the event itself. So we're going to have to uh, check back in in a few hours. So I am going to uh, cut ahead to whenever, uh, to a little bit closer to the countdown. Uh, so just one moment. Hello everyone, please come celebrate the countdown with us to ring in the new year. This is some, uh, jazzy music. Uh, a lot jazzier than I was expecting, uh, for this game. I feel like a lot of games like this have fairly, um, low-key soundtracks. So when they have a really upbeat song, it kind of stands out like, Okay, was not expecting that. What do you think of my outfit? Such a special knight deserves special- or extra special attire. And it doesn't look like Nook has anything different to tell us, so, uh... I'll just say we don't need to buy anything. No? Hmm. Well, if the party mood hits and you want to buy something later, come see me. So, let's talk to everyone else. Hmm... Can't you just feel the tension in the air? A whole new year is about to begin. I can't wait to forget what year it is for a whole month. That's a mood. Well, the year is just about over. Just one more, more big event to get fired up for. The countdown. I've seen this all happen a million times before, but for some reason I still get goosebumps every time. It's finally New Year's Eve. I'm so excited I can't sit still. Tonight's the countdown! It's the last party of the year, so let's go all out! Ooh, last day of the year! You all set for the countdown tonight? I am pumped! It's New Year's Eve at long last! Let's give 2020 a proper send-off! Hmm, can't you just feel the tension in the air? This is the same line that, that Raymond said. <laughs> um... Cool. That's the problem with, uh, having a lot of the same villager type is getting the same dialogue. I kind of wish they added more villager types. I think the last edition was New Leaf, where they added, um, two more, one for each gender. Um, but I kind of wish they had added another one and then switched over some of the different characters to the new type, uh, so there weren't, um, as many repeats. Um, Kind of a minor issue I have of just, uh, that definitely contributing to a lot of the dialogue feeling a little bit repetitive when, uh, it feels like one, they have less to say than past games, and two, um, having so many villagers of the same type, because there are only so many types, so you will have at least one repeat, so it ends up leading to even more of a feeling of, like, seeing the same dialogue over and over again, um, but this is exciting, um... 2020 was definitely a year, uh, with a lot of very, uh, negative aspects for, um, most, I would say. Um, I know 2021 isn't going to be a whole lot better, especially at first, because a lot of the existing problems aren't going to go away just because of an arbitrary date change, but at the same time, I I am happy to be through 2020. Um, it's kind of a spiritual victory, where even if the things that are going wrong in the world aren't going to stop going wrong just because it's 2020, just the feeling of making it through uh, the year because of how long it felt, especially early on. Um, it's kind of an, an interesting feeling for a year. I feel like this year especially feels kind of weird to be getting to this point because of how um, generally awful the year was. Um, and thus it's kind of weird after how 
how it just kind of dragged on forever. It felt like how we have finally made it to the end. Um, looks like we have about a minute left to go. Um, not everyone is here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven villagers are here. Uh, three are in their homes. Um, like, uh, Daisy over here and Shari down here. Um, let's see, I guess the other villager must live on the other side of town. But, uh, we have reached the final stretch of the countdown. Uh, the camera panned out, so that's different. Um, different than past games. Nice view of the plaza. Um, we have our little light stick and our hat, so we're all ready to go. Again, I'm pretty sure Rosie has a red hat as well, or an orange hat, I can't actually tell, but either way, I am confused that Isabel and Tom Nook both have hats that we actually can't get. Um, again, maybe, maybe they'll add more hats, more varieties later, but, uh, with that, we are in the final stretch. Happy New Year! May this year hold exciting adventures for us all! That sounded like Jump Up Superstar. <laughs> that little, um, riff there just, for some reason, made me think of that. Uh, but it is now a new year. Happy New Year! Watching fireworks as beautiful as these gives me a lot of hope for the coming year. Alright then, Happy New Year! Here's to another good one, yes yes? Jonathan, Happy New Year! Let's have another fabulous year! Happy New Year! I feel like this is going to be a big one. This year, it finally happens. The year I, f I get my own cooking show, Tomato Bisque Warriors featuring Raymond. Happy New Year to you! Here's hoping 2021 is a good one. I don't think I've told you this yet, so Happy New Year! I am not sure how to say that. That's French for Let's Rock 2021's Face Off. Happy New Year! Hope it's a great one for you. Feels weird saying this out loud, but I'm pretty psyched for this year's muscle soreness. Alright, so, uh, not everyone made it out here to the plaza, so let's take a moment to see, um, everyone else around town. So, looks like, um, Broccolo is one. He's still celebrating, though. It's our first time talking to each other in 2021. That's real neat. O oh shoot, I meant to say, Happy New Year. And then I say, eat it too, because I like you. Interesting catchphrase. <laughs> eat it. So by the way, um, I actually had a bit of a recording mishap. Therefore, I actually already have the Nook Miles achievement. Uh, for New Year's, so I actually wanted to quickly show that off. Um, countdown celebration. The only thing better than ringing in the New Year is ringing in the New Year with some Nook Miles. May you live to see many more years and miles. And of course, you get two titles as well. Um, definitely kind of a remote achievement since you can only get it once a year. Um, it kind of would be bad if you actually miss out on this, because then you have to either time travel or wait uh, 365 days or 6 if you're in a leap year. Alright, so next up is Daisy. Happy, happy new year to you. Can't wait to share it with you. Sure, it sounds wild out there, but there's something nice about a cozy New Year's celebration at home. Also a mood.
And finally, uh, we should say hi to our uh, one of the first villagers who uh, was in our town, uh, Shari. Happy New Year! Last year's ancient history, it's gone. We're full speed ahead on 2021, so no looking back. It's tough to be the lazy New Year's Eve at home, but as soon as that sun's up, I'm going full throttle. Yeah, that, sh that just sounds like Jump Up Superstar to me. Um, anyway, uh, that is New Year's Eve in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I don't know if anything special happens on New Year's Day, so I'll probably check in. If there isn't a video tomorrow, then there isn't anything special on New Year's Day, or very little that's special about it, so um, either way, um, we'll probably check in on New Year's Day as well. Um, so this will be one of the first videos on my channel in the new year, technically, because this will be uploaded tomorrow, uh, where I am. So, I hope 2021 is not as bad as 2020. That's a very low bar to, to try to clear, I will admit, but yeah. Um, I'm cautiously optimistic, I think it will still have a lot of issues, but I think overall, I'd like to think uh, we've gone through the worst of it. Um, so with that, I think I am going to call things here for now. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Animal Crossing New Horizons.